Hello friends, welcome to today's video. It is Ipsy unbagging time. I received this uh, on the 21st of May, so a little bit later in the month, and I'm excited to rip into it. I think I've only seen what the outside of the bag looks like, or what the bag looks like, I should say. Uh, just a quick mention, I don't always talk about this, but if you are getting Ipsy in Canada, uh, it varies a little bit every month in terms of price, depending on the exchange rate, but it tends to be around $19 to $20. And you do get five sample products in each bag. Now, before I bust into this, it's gonna be hard to top last month's. I mentioned going into that that I really like, um, you know, mascaras and lip products. I also really enjoy uh, face products, especially things like masks where you don't need, you know, a long period of testing it to see whether it's something you like or not. Uh, so again, I hope for those kinds of things in here. Last month I got exactly what I wanted, so we'll see this month if I get as happy a collection of things as April. Here we go. I did notice that it was this sparkly bag, and that's interesting. I thought when I saw this on other people's thumbnails that it was gold sparkle, but there's pink and green and blue uh, sparkle in there as well. It's quite nice. Uh, glitter does not seem to be coming off of it, which is always good. Uh, so let's see what there is. There feels like something big and flat in here. Oh, well, there's the card. That's part of it. So I'm going to take the card out. Can I see the... I'm just not even going to look. They've started listing things on there and I don't want to accidentally spoil it. I will say that I do think it's cute that the lining of this is hot pink. That's a nice detail. So I've got something flat. Oh no, it's not entirely flat. It's a sample of something. Let me get that one out because it's huge and it's the first thing that I'm feeling. Okay, we have a Bare Minerals Set Hydrate and Glow. So a setting spray. That's awesome. We don't get that many setting sprays. And I've tried a few Bare Minerals products, but not a lot. So let's see here. It's obviously going to be a little sample and very little because the bottle is half the size of this. Uh, but this is the Dew Mist, you know, Set Fresh Glow, Hydrate Refresh. I've not heard of this before. I don't think I've really seen anybody using it, but I am always looking for good setting sprays. I haven't tried a bunch of them, or I haven't tried very many of them, I should say. Uh, so I'm looking forward to trying this. So this is a good product or a fun one to test. Okay, there's a box in here. Let's go for this little box. What do we think, lip product? Okay, no, this is a mascara, and this is the Bad Girl Bang Mascara from Benefit. That's awesome. Uh, bigger Batter Volumizing Mascara. I have heard of this one. I don't know that I actually watched any dedicated videos about this, so I'll be going into this one a little bit blind to see how it goes, but I do enjoy getting, as I mentioned, mascara samples. So that is awesome. Um, I have filmed a mascara review that I think should be going up on... Friday. Let's see, there's a little pot in here. What is this? Is it skincare? Oh, okay, Canadian clay pore cleanser. Canadian glacial clay. Uh, Neogen uh, dermology. Yeah, made in Korea. <laughs> it's Canadian pore cleanser made in Korea. Uh, but obviously, this appears to be a clay mask. And as I mentioned, I do enjoy getting masks. Clay masks aren't always necessarily my thing because I do find they can be a little drying, but as long as you don't let them like dry to the point of being like dry, dry, like cracking on your face, they can still have a nice um, uh, like oil extracting effect without really drying your skin out. So I'm looking forward to testing that. I've got a squeezy tube and a big box. I think the squeezy tube might be skincare, so let's check this out. Gold Fadden MD's Problem Uneven Skin Tone Solution Vital Boost. Even Skin Tone Daily Moisturizer. Vitamin D, Hyaluronic Acid, and Gooseberry. Dr. Gold Fadden's Multifaceted Hydrating Moisturizer delivers a brightening glow to all skin types. That's awesome. I mean, I'm only going to be able to test this, like, for maybe a week, uh, but I am happy to do that. And I've never heard of Gold Fadden MD. Is it an expensive brand? Is it a pricey brand? That'll be fun to find out about. 
So the last thing in here, I feel like it's probably a lip product and I gotta say, we have a pretty good bag going on so far. So what do we have here? Okay, it's from a company called Estate. I've tested one of their highlighters and I really liked it. Um, I will put that review down below, but let's see what this is. This is lip icing. And it's got a very cute little box with like frosting and sprinkles on it. Totally had that upside down. Let's see what it is. Let's see what color it is. Okay, so it's a pretty bright pink. Is this a gloss? I feel like icing would be gloss, right? Yep, that seems like a gloss. And let's check out. My camera wants to focus. Okay, so that's a pretty, um, like, not very pigmented, but pretty gloss. It does have a nice sweet kind of smell to it. I'm happy to get a gloss that's not a glitter gloss. I have been getting so many of those lately. Uh, so for me, what matters in a gloss is does it have some really nice hydrating, lip benefiting effects? And uh, I'm looking forward to trying this. This is in the shade Drip. So let's check out that card and see if there was a theme to this month's bag. Keep your head in the clouds and walk barefoot in the grass. Believe in the power of lipstick, but know that your glow comes from within. Throw caution to the breeze, embrace your windblown hair, buy flowers for yourself, write love notes to your friends, wake up to watch the sunrise, sneak back under the covers, uh, ipsy daydream. Okay, so maybe not so much of a theme. But yeah, it lists the products in here, although it does not give us a price on them. But yeah, I'm looking forward to testing these all out. This is two months in a row that have been really, really good bags. Uh, but I would love to hear what you guys got in your bag. I think there was also like an Ipsy Deluxe you could have gotten this month, which I did not do. Um, but I'd love to hear what you guys got. Leave all that in the comments down below. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I look forward to testing all of these things and sharing it all with you and seeing you in my next video. Bye.